Hi, I'm going to show you a way to prevent ticks from invading your yard without having to spray poison around on your lawn. And it's uh, by use of a product that is called permethrin. Permethrin is an agent that uh, works on the nervous systems of many insects such as mosquitoes, ticks, mites, um, bed bugs, I think is on the list. But this is not a topical treatment. You don't want to put this on your skin. What you do is you treat your clothing or your camping gear with it. Uh, this particular box, it's 12 fluid ounces, I believe, is meant to treat two clothing outfits. And an outfit would consist of pants, a shirt, and a pair of socks. And uh, so if you're treating your clothing before you go out on an outing, you want to do it outside or in the garage, somewhere where there's plenty of ventilation. Hang up the clothing and saturate it. Pump spray, the, pump spray it and get it completely wet. I'm going to open the box and let's get this started. So for preventing ticks in your yard, here's a little method that is supposedly proven to work. This is the first time I will have tried it, but I've been reading about this and it makes some sense. I've been doing some research on ticks and Lyme disease. Uh, the ticks that carry the Lyme disease are the black-legged ticks. They're the very small ones, sometimes referred to as deer ticks. There's not much we can do about the deer that wander in and out of our property, and we have a lot of them. We have lots of other animals like raccoons, possums, fox, um, groundhogs, and we don't see them often, but we know they're out there, and they're mice. And believe it or not, mice are the largest propagator of ticks. So what we're going to do is prevent the mice from carrying ticks. I've been saving these cardboard tubes. You know what they're from, toilet rolls or paper towel rolls. And I'm going to just cut them up into smaller sections. so that I have several of these. They get a little wrinkled, it doesn't matter. What we want these to do is to be a carrier for the material we're going to put inside. And then we're going to scatter these around the yard in various places where mice are likely to inhabit. I'll just talk a little bit about Lyme disease. If you are bitten by a tick, Learn how to remove the tick properly. You don't want to just squeeze it and pull it off because you're squeezing the tick and you're injecting all the contents of its belly right into your bloodstream. So there are methods of removing a tick. Some of them are not so wise, such as putting a match head to the tick. That's not recommended. The, the best way is to use tweezers and get up under the tick's body and pull right from the mouth, right from the mouth parts. Uh, there are special extracting tools made to remove ticks safely, but never grab it with your fingers, pinch and pull it off. And then if you see that rash develop, that uh, what they call a bullseye rash, go to your clinic and get treated right away. Lyme disease really is no fun and it can drag on for years. Ask me how I know. It has been years and I've not been able to get a positive diagnosis yet because Lyme often evades tests 
Although uh, my blood tests are right on the ragged edge, they're pretty sure that it is Lyme disease and they've ruled out a whole list of other things that it could possibly be. But um, to get a positive diagnosis is not always easy. And there are certain treatments that are available only when you have the diagnosis. Uh, look up sometime on the web a uh, very well-known case of Chris Christofferson. He's the actor, the songwriter, the singer, and his case, because of his celebrity status, was well publicized. He was first diagnosed as having fibromyalgia, and then years later they thought he was getting Alzheimer's and he was having cognitive issues and they were sure it was Alzheimer's until somebody decided they were going to test and just see if it might be Lyme disease. They treated him for Lyme and within weeks he was back to his old self. He was back writing songs, back performing again. It was just amazing. So look that up sometime. You'll find that interesting. Now what we have here is a container of common dryer lint. Every time we do the laundry, I'll clean out the dryer and clean out the lint from the lint trap and I'll save it. So here it is. And what I'm going to do is to stuff some of this uh, dryer lint into some of these tubes. I'm not going to pack them completely full yet, but just get a little bit of material in each tube. By the way, this stuff is very good fire starter. I like to go out camping and backpacking and I carry a little bit of this with me in a Ziploc bag because it's very compressible, it's lightweight, doesn't take up much space, so it's, it's good to have it along just in case you need a little help getting a fire started. <clears throat> I almost never build fires when I'm out camping. It's just not necessary. I don't need it, but in an emergency, if somebody is really cold and maybe they're uh, getting hypothermia and their gear is wet, you need to get a fire started, get them drying out and warming up, and if things are wet, if it's raining and all the wood and everything is wet, to have some of this dry material to start your fire is just um, the greatest thing to have. All right, now we're going to spray into these. Okay, I'm going to saturate those really good. I recommend not getting this on your skin. It's not going to burn or anything, but it's not meant as a topical treatment. It's just to spray on your clothing or your camping gear. So what we're doing is we're spraying it on the dryer lint, then I'm going to disperse these tubes out through the yard, and the mice find these things and they build their nests out of it. So as they build nests and they wallow around in this stuff treated with permethrin, it rids them of the ticks. It kills the ticks. And that pretty much eliminates the problem of ticks in your yard. I'm going to put more material in there and spray it again. Okay, I've got all of these treated, they're stuffed, and the material is saturated. I'm going to let these dry uh, for a few hours, and then I'm going to just distribute these around the yard, some of them around the edge of the house, and then on up into the yard. I've got three quarters of an acre, and part of it is wooded, 
So I'm going to get some of these tucked up into the, uh, into the bushes there where the mice might uh, congregate. Often when I'm out working in the yard, I'll come in and find one or two on me, sometimes not even till a day later. They are very elusive things. So, by the way, when you're treating your clothing with this, um, the, the trick to make it last is to hand wash your clothing. You might not treat everything that you have in your wardrobe, but just a few of those items that you like to wear when you're out hiking or camping. So on those particular items, if you were to hand wash those, this treatment will last well over a year. Otherwise, it says it'll last approximately 40, 42 days for about six washings. And the reason it would last maybe six washings is because of this. This is the lint. This comes off of your clothing every time you machine wash and tumble dry. So the permethrin is attached to the fabric and the fabric sheds this lint each time you wash it. So more and more of the permethrin comes off in the form of lint. So if you hand wash your clothes and be gentle with them, it will last well over a year. And it does work. It works great. I've used this uh, when I worked for an international organization and they used to send us all around the world to different parts of uh, different countries. They would give us permethrin to treat some of our clothing before we left on that journey, especially when we we're going into places that were known to have been plagued by mosquitoes and have a lot of malaria. Uh, potential. So, permethrin. Remember that. You can get it at uh, some drug stores. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it in sporting goods stores such as REI. Uh, this particular bottle, 12 ounces, costs probably around $10, $11, something like that. All right. Thanks for watching.